Our ne next speaker is from Spain. It will be a recording. Uh, and it's about uh, alteration of ecosystems by roads. So the floor goes to Pablo Quies Tundidor. Hi, my name is Pablo Quiles and I'm going to present you my ongoing work. A literature review titled Growth Alteration of Species Interactions. The road network is the largest human infrastructure on Earth with over 21 million kilometers of paved roads, a total extension that triples if the paved roads are included, around 64 million kilometers. Moreover, this infrastructure will have an unprecedented expansion in the coming years, since it is estimated an increase of around 60% by 2050. Roads have several impacts on wildlife. A new roads implies habitat loss and open up corridors that generate habitat fragmentation and barrier and its effects. Moreover, the road used by humans cause road kills and various forms of pollution. These impacts alter species interactions, which are key in ecosystem processes and the motor of evolutionary changes. The species interactions are usually categorized by the outcome the species involved get, neutral, positive, or negative. This way, there are six main species interactions that you can see in this table. So our objective is to provide a synthesis of the existing literature on species interactions disrupted by the world. For that matter, we conducted a systematic review using the Web of Science database and proceed with six different searches, one for its interspecific relationship. Afterwards, we discarded the articles that did not match our study topics using the title and the abstract. The initial search returned 1,331 papers, of which only 123 maths or study topics. Of those relevant, relevant papers, the majority involved mammal species, followed by, followed by plants and invertebrates. Regarding the road impact studied, the articles were almost equally divided between three large, large categories, landscape changes, its effect, and road pollutants. The studies focus on predations so how traffic noise can substantially modify anti-predator behavior and consequently alter predator hunting success as well as prey survival and fitness. This is the case of a study conducted by Maurice Drake Group. They describe how mongoose usually enter a state of alert while hearing baboon alarm calls and flee under a squirrel's alarm calls. However, road noise makes mongooses stay on a constant state of alert and they don't flee under the alarm calls of squirrels which usually means a greater danger from mongooses. Roads also modify activity patterns of both predator and prey. This is the case of a three-way interaction between caribous, wolves and bears. Wolves use dirt roads to travel the landscape, so female caribous with calves avoid them. However, this makes them enter bear territories in more pristine areas, where calves suffer predations by those bears. Studies focus on competition so a common mechanism of road interference in, in species interactions, that is, the difference in tolerance towards the road exhibited by the species involved in the interaction. In this example by Chen and Koprowski, the native 
S. squirrel species is really, really apprehensive towards the road, while the alien squirrel species has no issues crossing the roads. This way, the alien species is displacing the native one. In a similar way, Kolf et al. describe how during winter, coyotes are using paths of compacted snow by, made by human vehicles. This allows them to enter Canadian lynx territories and compete with them for a common prey, the snow hare. Regarding mutualism, the studies found a focus on two similar animal plant interactions, seed dispersal and pollination. Tenant collaborators describe in a series of studies how acorn dispersal mediated by mice was disturbed by the distance to the nearest road. In particular, uh, mice place their acorn cats closer to the road, but acorns were never dispersed across the road. For pollination, various studies saw, saw how roads alter pollinate, pollinator, pollinators' community and composition close to the road, as well as activity patterns of those pollinators. Moreover, some studies point out how road mortality affecting insect pollinators in particular may be overlooked. For parasitism, two main topics arise. Firstly, that the ice and salts we widely use in winter alter the salinity and pH of freshwater habitats. These changes diminish the anti parasitism behaviors of tadpoles, increasing the parasitism rates and the intensity of the infection for various frog species. Secondly, vegetation changes in growth verges due to road maintaining, maintenance and wildlife passages create an ideal scenario for an increase of tick parasitism over animal, over mammals. So, in conclusion, there is a lack of a specific research that focuses on the direct effect of roads that roads may have on these interactions. There is a lack of before and after studies that measure the exact impact of the road. We know little about how the road may alter interactions such as parasitism, mutualism, Amensalism and commensalism. So we propose the use of common or at least comparable metrics regarding road impacts. This way we can compare and choose the best options while managing our road network. And thank you all for your attention. Pablo, thank you very much. Is he on the Zoom? I, I do have a question, uh, Pablo. Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon, actually. Um, yeah. One question I have, you uh, certainly concluded that there is a, a lack of studies, uh, some more knowledge gaps, let's say. If you have to advise us, uh, what should be prioritized? Because if we have to make choices, what to look into, you have shown different uh, sorts of interactions. What do you think is really, should be our priority if we look into this? So across uh, all the interactions, what I think we, we need the most is those uh, before and after studies. So we can have a precise uh, measurement of how the world may alter these interactions and have uh, numbers of that so we can then compare between different different managements on the roads all right 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, about the competition, of course, only, are there uh, studies regarding uh, plants, just plants, invasive species or local species? Yeah, 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 yeah there are. Uh, especially uh, related to alien plants, like invasions. Those are those are common, yeah, because roads uh, usually uh, generate a new habitat, new conditions, and some of these alien species uh, usually take advantage of that and colonize the road and can travel uh, really long distance distance using the road. All right, Pablo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.